Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge in Seven Days to Die and my Seven Days to Build a Horde Base uh, series. It's uh, It's been pretty eventful. There are a lot of zombies running around outside this POI last night. I'm wondering about my settings here. There's the morning uh, piano. Time to get downstairs and start doing some work. I just kind of hunkered down in the attic. Did some basic stuff. Made a, um, up to a thousand cobblestone right now, which is pretty good. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot coming down here to like this, just breaking things up and repairing and preparing the um, the place for uh, you know, the upgrade. You know, making it a horde base. I haven't quite done much of that. But like I said, there were a ton of zombies out last night. It was very strange, like wandering horde or something to that effect. So this is actually me just getting a chance to go through and explore a little bit, clean things up. I did a tiny bit, but it was very, very little upstairs. I didn't, uh, I didn't search like all the paintings and stuff like that and whatnot. Obviously, I didn't get this area. And then I noticed that this kind of, this looks a little tricky back here. Like maybe something's hidden here. So I wanted to get through and look into this sort of sub attic since the attic is above me here. But I'm excited. Uh, I'm ready to put this thing together and see what we can come up with. Uh, if we can get this, uh, like I said, 1,000 cobblestone. There's another 35 right in front of me. And maybe today we can begin the building uh, of our slip and slide around the outside of this uh, this POI in this space. But obviously there's something behind this cobblestone here. And probably a secret little stash. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see what we can get. Maybe something good. Maybe a motorcycle, just hidden in here, right? Mini bike, sort of hidden. Well, now let's just get in here and see. I'll take the cobblestone. Oh well, okay. Repair your axe. Yeah, I love the cobblestone. Like I said, a thousand I've uh, up to now. A thousand thirty-five. That's a good amount to get started. Definitely enough for like fifty. I think fifty flagstone blocks. Ooh, there we go. A little mattress here. A little cooler. Uh, some water and a can, and that's uh, that's not very exciting. What do we have here? Secret stash. Oh yeah, look at that workbench schematic. <laughs> that's the secret stash. It was worth it. Wow, I'll take that. And look at that. Uh, it's probably the other side of the building. Well, all right. Let's see what else is in this boi. Uh, well, we're finished right in the kitchen. I noticed this, uh, there's a ladder down here. Uh, obviously, the floor is all sort of broken up and, and whatnot. But, like, you could actually fall through this floor. If you look down, there's something below it. Like a basement or something. So, after I search all this, I want to, I actually want to see what's, what's downstairs. Uh, maybe it's dangerous. Better pull out a gun or something. All right. Oh, yeah! Holy cow! There we go. And it helps to load your weapon. Run away. <laughs> Shoot. Maybe he'll come up there. Oh, you got to come up this? No, you're just going to beat on the walls. Come on up here. Yes. It's a ladder. I mean, how hard is this for you? I know your brain is sort of mush now, but... Come on. Oh, Lord. you got to be kidding me. I probably can't even hit him. Uh, well, other, apart from my bow skills being uh, immaculate. And that's facetiousness, but... Come on. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm really making this hard on myself, aren't I? Yeah, he's gonna come up. Negative. Just a lot of beating on the walls there. That's great. Okay, he's down. Now we can go down and check out the secret area. It is kind of cool. And get my arrow back. Because I shot it into the ground. And there's a stash here. Oh no. Just a challenge. Ooh, little stalagmites. Stalagmites. And water. Oh, that's awesome. There's water here. 
I have my own little water stash. Second secret stash, and nothing. And a dead guy. Oh, we'll get his rotting flesh with a shovel. Guess that's one way to do it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that. I got myself my own little water stash. And well, from the secret stash. Hmm. Yeah, who would have thunk it? This is going to make things uh, a lot easier for me. Uh, and I also have a little mine down here now. I can do mine stone and some sand and possibly some other things. Wow, this has turned out to be a pretty sweet uh, place to build a base. Uh, but we got to get through the front door. I'm getting pretty hungry here, and I know this little place across the street here has a kitchen in it. So this is, uh, I'm going to go in and break in here. I know there are just a few zombies. There's a little stash downstairs, which I'll probably try to raid if I can. This kitchen should have some food, or I hope it has food, because I'm already getting low on food. Uh, you can see my stamina is terrible right now. Uh, wait, let me switch deal here. Other thing I really love about um, this sort of broken up... Uh, weird stuff that's everywhere is it gives you sand and rock. Uh, it's kind of like the broken down everything. Uh, it gives you sand and rock, and so it's a really good resource when you're creating concrete. And there's a ton of it. Uh, there's metal in here. Ooh, that was the pumpkin pie recipe. I'm pretty certain. Pumpkin pie schematic. There was a yucca seed schematic. Didn't I talk about that earlier? That's nice. Water. Okay, this food is what we're looking for here. Water. Um, a wrench, that'll work. It'll come in handy. Wow, a lot of glass jars. There's some food. Okay, yes, eat. Thank you. God, I can't get food poisoning from that. Yeah, man. Scrap the wooden chair, and look at that. Pumpkin cheesecake recipe. There's a nice one. Love that. Scrap my plants, scrap that, make some room. Got some stuff here. We've got a yucca seed recipe. That'll come in handy. And a little grill for grilling some meats. We do have a cooking pot, so we're good. But man, we are not finding a lot of food in here. Uh, that's, uh, that's no bueno. We need food. Well, bullets. That's something. All right, back in the kitchen at home. Boy, I really didn't find a whole lot of food. I found that one can. I'm trying to go through everything. Thinking I missed it. I have an egg here. Let's put the campfire down. Get things going. Try to make this uh, more home-like, right? Get things cooking. Uh, yes, we have that little grill plate. Uh, we do... I thought we had some meat, too. I've got to check upstairs. I put everything in that... No, that meat is in that other chest... Back at the cabin in the woods. Uh, darn it. Uh, maybe I have some eggs or something upstairs. Yeah, let's check in this chest. Seven eggs. So we have eight eggs total. But we only have three meat. Need five to make grilled meat or and or bacon and eggs. And there's no other canned food. We have honey. Heals a little bit. Uh, that's not enough. I, it'll help, but uh, man, we really need meat. Because that usually increases your stamina quite, quite a bit, like sort of early on here. Eight eggs. I can make boiled eggs. I've got some water. Water source down below. I have 21 uh, glass jars and some murky water. I think we can we can start to make some food. Boy, eggs aren't going to last very long, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, what can I do here? Some eggies. Can't make bacon and eggs. Okay, let's see. I can make some uh, bottled water, which I'm going to need for eggs anyway. And then, uh, so that's five. So let's see. Oops. How do you spell eggs? <laughs> All right. Boiled eggs. Why can't I make boiled eggs? I have bottled water and eggs. What am I missing here? Cooking pot. <laughs> that's what I needed. I needed a cooking pot. Oh, boy. All right. Now I can make some eggs. And these are just not going to last very long, but I'm going to make as many as we can get here. 
seven boiled eggs. I don't know why. I'm just going to make four. I'm kind of hoping for some meat so I can bake bacon and eggs. That's really going to make me, make it better. But hopefully this will get me most of the way to full stamina. Okay, that's the dining room floor repaired. Got a little hole to go down to the basement when needed to get some water. Let's grab some chairs, eat some eggs. When health five, stamina ten. Whew, that's that's not much. Uh, man, that's only gonna get me about what eighty something. And there's a tiny bit of a chance of food poisoning with that, which is amazing because you just boiled eggs, and that should retard spoilage completely. What's out back here? See how close we are. Yeah, that's this is going to be tough. Oh, some spikes. Well, that'll be good for the moment for good for defenses. I'm not going to do too much more over here. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Yeah. Well. Anyway, uh, I've just got to. Uh, I got to figure out how to get food. And the day is dragging on. It's almost one o'clock, 1300 hours, and my stamina has been running at 50% this entire time. I'm trying not to be encumbered, but man, I need resources and I need to sort of reinforce this place and eat what few eggs that I have and drink my yucca juice, which at least doesn't, you know, give me food poisoning. That's nice. But man, I need food. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, let's check the mailbox, see if there's any mail for me. What do we got? Oh, cool. Junk turret schematic. <laughs> well, every once in a while you find something cool, right? All right, then I've mowed the lawn, cut down the trees. Got a clear view now. I'm going to make some wood frames and sort of count off uh, the length and the width of this building. It's a little bit more wide than I anticipated, I was thinking. Originally, it was just maybe 11 by 12 or something, but this looks like it's about four. And uh, one, two, three, four. There's a little planter box out front here. That's four. But how far along on this other side do we have? Because I think this is only about 14, maybe 14. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. So it's 15 by, uh, I, I cleared this a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, what, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 15 by 24. Interesting. Oh boy, we've got a lot of work to do. Let me calculate those, uh, the block, number of blocks for that. Okay, so it's 15 on the side. That's 30. 25 on the other side. That's 50. So that's 80. If we want it four high, 80 times four is 320. I can make 258. I'm going to make two, I'm going to make 250. Wow, 320. So we're close. Uh, we need a little bit more stone and a little bit more clay soil. And this is giving us a tiny, tiny bit of stone. That's it. So 320 if we make it four high. All right. Well, 250 is a start. All right, this is the trial side. Uh, cleared all the impediments, uh, the wood fixtures, and that, uh, that little concrete pad. Let's just do this side quickly and then see what it looks like and we'll put down the rest of the uh, rest of the blocks and start doing sort of upgrades and whatnot. Let me see, uh, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. All 
Okay, we're good to go there. We do not want a solid block on that corner. It's going to have to be one of those corner wedge uh, pieces. I, I'm not quite sure what it's called. Let's go through the shapes here and see what we can find. I believe it's called, yes, flagstone wedge is the piece that will go on top of the base block here. Just need to get the rotation correctly for that. Uh, let's see. That's what's nice about starting with the cobblestone. You get these cool shapes, and you can uh, sort of build this um, slip and slide base, which is sort of just wedge tips, and these wedges here that the zombies cannot climb up, uh, which is great. Now, this is really challenging to get this piece in. Come on, turn it. There it is. Okay. So I'm only going to build it three high to start because that's what I have. And then I'm going to dig down one because you can see that the foundation on this is sort of elevated. Well, you can't see it while I'm putting up blocks. But for the most part, yes, the foundation on this is elevated. And see right there, you can just see it. So that's going to work out really well. Oops, I put the piece in wrong. That's going to work out well. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this side's looking pretty good. Now we gotta get the flagstone, I believe, wedge tip. Let's see, where is that? It's down here on the bottom. There it is, flagstone wedge tip. And we'll put these on top. We've knocked out just, just the pieces, so let's, this should go in pretty easy. Oh, darn it. I should, I say, it goes in pretty easy. There we go, top of the rotation. We can put those down. See, that's really, really straightforward. Okay, let's put in the corner pieces so they can, uh, oh boy, uh, zombie. Darn it. Can you just go away? We're running out of time here. Darn it. 1,800 hours. Almost 1,900 hours. And I got this on the 60 minute, 24 hour clock, so this is fast. Every zombie takes, you know, two or three minutes to kill. That's just too much. Darn it. This is, oh, there's a lot of work to do. Shoot, it's 8 o'clock already, and we still have... Still have yet to finish this off. Oop, I didn't see, and then I keep putting the place in the blocks wrong. Okay, yeah, let's clean that up. And, uh, repair. i got to repair my pickaxe first. Uh, damn zombies. They ruin everything for us. Okay, let's get this top piece in. There we go, got the rotation right. And what do we need down here? We need another solid block, I think. Yeah, we put one big solid block in there. And then, what is this one called? It's the, yeah, flagstone wedge steep corner. And then a couple of more, uh, what do you call them? Uh, no, no, go to, go to the right menu. Uh, a couple more of the um, wedge tips, right? There we go. Flagstone wedge tips. Go back to it. There you go. Wedge tips, and then another corner piece, and then we're set. And then this side is done. The one side is done. That's not too bad. And then another little piece in the corner here, and, the, and that's not too bad. For day one, 2100 hours, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Alright, the zombie knows we're here. We gotta take him out. It's too close to nighttime. Ow! Oh man, my club skills are atrocious. Oh god, I gotta I gotta get a gun here. Oh, oof. oh he's infected me. Damn it. Ah, great way to start the night. Alright. Well, that was an exciting kind of a little adventure to begin with, right? Man, we gotta cook up some food fast. We're just uh Running on empty. Got to eat, uh, drink some water, but uh, and the night's closing in. That's pretty much uh, is the end of uh, the construction. Well, I think we did really well. We got the uh, one side done completely. 
Got a corner and the front and a half done, but I've got a lot of chipping away to do with that concrete out front. The only way I'm gonna get uh, to get those blocks down on the front side. So maybe tomorrow it'll be the other two sides and then slowly chip away at the front, but the front is the most vulnerable. Anyway, you can see we've got, uh, oh, there's the, uh, the night time. Well, you can see this is going to be a viable base. It's going to take some time. 320 blocks, gone through 200 some so far. Well, not 200 so far, but uh, yeah, this is going to take some time, but I think it's going to work out quite well. I'm going to spend some time down here in the, uh, in the mine tonight, doing my thing, filling my water bottles, and uh, just getting ready for tomorrow, and hoping that tomorrow I can find some food. Thank you all for watching. This is Sturge, signing off.